what are some of the most common mistakes you see people make on on sales pages and parts of their funnel? Uh, you know, with copywriting, it's kind of an interesting thing. I think a lot of people come into it, and, and I have one foot in the copywriting industry and one foot in the WordPress industry. So uh, it's amazing to see that both industries have some of the same common problems in general. But um, copywriters come into it because they're writers, and a lot of times they want to use their creativity. And I'm not saying there's not a place for creativity, but I think uh, there's a lot more science to it than, than people realize when they go into copywriting. Um, and really what you wanna say is what people wanna hear more than anything. So if, you, if you're missing out on conversions or something like that, it's very likely the language you're using is something that's either completely foreign to them or it's not what they wanna hear. And so, you know, I think people forget to um, mention benefits and social proof uh, those two things are really important that people leave off. And then also um, your headline, which they tend to get clever on rather than clear. And I have a saying, and I, some of you probably heard it, don't be clever, be clear. Um, and rather than trying to come up with a tagline for a headline, save that for another, for your slogan or whatever, make sure that headline is very clear what you're doing and you're offering a benefit in there. Actually, Aaron uh, Flynn did a really good, live a while back and she went over um she didn't call it a unique value proposition but that's essentially what she was going over and did a very good job with it it's about what benefit you're offering so is you, you need to be clear not clever it's not the place to do to write your creative novel that you're working on it's the place to tell people what they are looking for you know in the product that you're selling that's probably one of the biggest problems I see with people to try to be clever rather than clear. Yeah. And um, I think definitely keeping it non-technical or not too technical really helps a lot too. Uh, I see a lot of my clients that, um, you know, they're, they're in a certain type of uh, type of space and they live and breathe it. So when they try to explain something, they're going to, they're going to go way too far in depth and your average, you know, client or, uh, or, or uh, customer, doesn't necessarily know or want to know all of that stuff. They want to know the benefits way more than any kind of technical jargon. 